Hey everyone, this is Alicia and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing swatches of the MAC Cosmetics Nude Model Art Library Eyeshadow Palette. The palette retails for $48 and is available on the Ulta Beauty and MAC Cosmetic website. The palette features 12 shades that are a mix of 7 mattes, 1 metallic, 3 shimmers, and 1 satin. The palette also comes with a nice size mirror and the shade names printed in the back of the palette as well as on a plastic insert that sits in the palette itself. So if you would like to see swatches of this palette, just keep on watching. I'm using my e.l.f. contour brush to do the swatches and I did not apply a base or a primer beforehand. Starting with the first row going left to right, Shroom is a soft beige satin. Go Lightly is a khaki colored shimmer. Outre is a mustard brown matte. Sandstone is a gray beige matte. Le Artiste is a silvery gray shimmer. Drop the Robe is a beige shimmer. Teta Tint is a neutral peach matte. Espresso is a golden brown matte. Pleasing to the Eye is a rose matte. Nude Model is a taupe metallic. Sugar Plum is a cool tone plum matte. And Dance in the Dark is a deep plum matte. And these are the swatches of all the shades in the palette. Aside from the packaging being gorgeous, that's the only positive thing that I have to say. Every shade minus Nude Model had pretty lackluster pigmentation and quite a bit of fallout. These shades are extremely subtle and cool tone, which isn't an issue, but I don't feel like this palette would perform well on deeper skin. The shades Outre and Sandstone were barely visible and require a lot of work to get them to show. This palette is definitely geared toward people that want very natural looking makeup and there's honestly nothing impressive about this palette. Honestly, if I would you, I'd just save my money. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and also turn on your notifications and I hope to see you all soon. Bye.